I used a broken solo strategy to have one of my fastest starts as a solo on Force Wipe. This meant that there was not only a new map, but all of the blueprints had also been reset. In today's video, I set out on a weekly server to see how quickly I could progress using one of the best monuments for a solo in Rust. How are we doing today? Servers have just wiped about 10 minutes ago, and it's, it's Force Wipe. I'm so keen, man. I've got a really uh, cool idea for a base today, so we're going to get straight into it. And we need to head. I kind of like the look of this map, but we're heading center map today. I hope you guys have been enjoying the more regular uploads lately. If you have and you want to help me out, liking this video really helps to promote my videos to other people who might also enjoy them. And I don't really ask for this very often, but if we could get 500 likes in this video, I'd be pretty stoked. Oh man, <laughs> are you kidding me? And chainsaw would actually be kind of useful. Yeah, let's get a little bow crafted. I'm gonna kill this pig here, get some armor. Hopefully my chainsaw is still there. I'm gonna run that way anyway. This dude, I have a, if he has a green card, yeah, worth so worth. Holy. Right here. I wonder if I try and run blue card puzzle while the server's still like kind of quiet. Oh, dude. Oh, DB. Yeah, I'm out. I'm out. Oh, man. DB is actually kind of huge on Force Wap. Hey. Let's go, dude. Okay. 
a off to dome for the first time this wipe first of many many times oh do do I mean, he chose to fight. <laughs> he could just run away. Oh, fire arrows coming in clutch. He had 130 scrap. Hell yeah. Hello. Hey, solar panel's kind of handy. Hey, nice. We got crates. No way. <laughs> Yes, dude. Python is so good. That's such a good BP to have early. the bed and I could do small I could do small rig while the server's still quiet it's actually not a bad shout it started as being way too flawless <laughs> I just jinx myself but like honestly apart from dying to that first bow kid who didn't even get my loot So far, this wipe had been flawless. I'd made it straight to my build location, only dying once along the way, and managed to win a few early fights that scored me a bunch of resources, components, and scrap. With fresh wipe being so early on a Friday morning in Australia, I'd managed to take advantage of this run by looting dome and running sewer and water treatment puzzles with the blue card I'd scored from satellite earlier. I alluded to this earlier in the video, but the plan for this wipe was to abuse a dome monument tactic to farm a consistent amount of scrap and higher tier loot. And to do this, I'd need a tier 2 workbench. After a recycle run, I'd probably have enough scrap to make one. So that was the plan, until I got distracted by a care package that was dropping close by. So I headed over. So we'll do one more um, dome run, and then we might actually go to a recycle. And then if I learn the python and make it tier 2, we could we could actually go do small rig. I haven't seen anyone take it yet. Damn. Ooh. We should go for that. It's kind of close. We might actually get a snag this. No way. <laughs> I mean, not a crazy airdrop, but Tommy's pretty good. Damn, not much else though. I mean, custom rags. Meh. 
We'll take a free airdrop though. Any day of the week. That's actually perfect. We can take the Tommy. Or the custom. Maybe we'll take the custom to rig. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, man. Taken. Damn. Hmm, how's that timing? I mean, do we try and counter? I think we try and counter, man. I say we send it. <laughs> Bit of a silly play, but gotta risk it, man. Oh my god. Down him? This dude grabbing it? Unless he died when he jumped. This guy might have died, man. Oh my god, it's gonna be a jump scare. Pretty, pretty poo crate. I might have just dipped, man, to be honest. Ooh, we got a neighbor. Damn, haven't even haven't even been gone for that long. I'm gonna assume that he just did that run. I'm not gonna go up there. Imagine if you made the Eoka play. Okay, let's do a big recycle run. Oh, I think I know who lives. <laughs> he lives there. He had blue card. Not sure why he had blue card. Maybe he's going to train? Oh, dude. Oh, we found if we could find Bean Can, <laughs> we can actually raid that guy. I'm just worried that guy's gonna be camping my door now. Man, I am nervous running this home.
Damn. That's a pretty quick tier two. Alright, let's have a look. Man, we actually have a lot of scrap left over. That's really pretty cheap. Ah, shit. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just learned auto turret. No. I just spammed it, man. Uh. uh. Oh my god. Well, we know auto turret now before any sort of gun. So, that was stupid. Alright, I'm gonna make some coffee. And we'll get back to it. Alright. That's why I killed him though, because I knew that he was probably running monuments. 300 scrap! Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's rough, man. I'm getting door camped. 100%. Why is he running straight past my base though? That's like, not very smart. This guy's definitely camping my door, man. I can almost guarantee it. Man, he always got me too. Dude, man. That's like the only guy I've seen around here. <laughs> Vanquish, dude. I'm not mad about it. Holy. Wow, that's actually not a bad crate. I'm a double door in the four times. Explosive. That's actually solid. Okay, I want to expand a little bit. I need to get a, some sort of like window so I can make sure this guy's not grubbing me. This base is gonna be cool. Hey, we are secure. So I think this will be like some sort of Dropbox storage up the top here. Not sure exactly how it's gonna look. And then this is gonna be a um, stability bunker. It's about time to get down like the most important part of this base, which I'm really looking forward to. Someone out there farming science, like, you know, the scientists. Let's go check that out real quick. Yeah, there was a scientist shooting. 
Out this way. There's a dude right there. Is he hiding in that bush? I thought he went down. Manual. Manuel. Blue card, not bad. 30 scrap, probably not worth. <laughs> okay, so this is the best part of this base I'm about to make. Yes. All right. That's so good. So this is going to be pretty broken. Like, especially once the um, pop picks up a little bit more. I can just like sit at my little camera station and see when the crates have spawned on top of dome. Is I feel like a lot of people don't run the dome monument because it's a bit of an effort to get to the top when there's no promise of actually having crates up there. But when you've got a computer station, but when you've got a computer station, that kind of takes the guesswork out of it. Like, I, I know that there's crates there now. It's a pretty good tactic for a solo because, you know, there's other monuments that the bigger groups tend to run a lot more than dome. So there's a few bases popping up. Uh, surprise, surprise. We got crates. Oh, large furnace. Yes. Yes, I need that. <laughs> so good. Uh, this is going to be the best, man. What a broken strap. I think I found a large battery before, didn't I? Yeah, boy. Man, we got another 500 scrap already. I might learn furnace. And I should really learn a weapon too. It's going to be absolutely stacked, man. He's going to be absolutely loaded. <laughs> oh God, we are just like stockpiling loot right now. Man, I love this system with the little computer station. It's so efficient. <laughs> we are looking good, dude. Sheet metal core, got satchel learnt, bean can. Yeah, I've got about roughly an hour before I need to head out for a bit. I've just got an appointment today, so if I can squeeze in a raid between now and then, that would be ideal. Shortly after that, I noticed another care package that was dropping in the snow. 
and there weren't many bases out there yet, so I was able to loot it without any competition. No way. C4? Oh, I've got an explosive too. <laughs> We're going to be C4 raiding. Given how quickly I'd progressed, I wanted to raid one of the nearby starter bases I'd seen before I had to log off for a bit. So I crafted some satchels and headed over to a 2x1 on the other side of Dome. So the base I'm looking at is like right next to, kind of between Bandit and Dome. And it is a bit of a bit of a risk, but I think it's worth it because there's so much farm in my area. It really didn't take me long to get enough of these satchels. Yes. Holy. <laughs> that is so much high quality. I mean, not worth it, really, but that is a lot of high quality. Why did why did they keep so much high call in here? It's kinda of weird. I'm very surprised that no one came to that. Like right next to Bandit. <laughs> Hell yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. After a crazily efficient morning on Force Wipe, I added some stone honeycomb to the base and logged off for a few hours. The plan when I returned was to finish the base and aim to venture out to cargo or oil rig. Right, it's been like three hours. A little bit longer than what I planned. So I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> as to what's uh, popped up around me, to be honest. Let's spawn in base. Open up the bunker. Hey, we got crates. Oh, that's a new base. Top of the mountain there. Uh, did that just go up? It's legit someone putting a base up right now. No way, he just came out with the ladder. No fucking way. Sorry, little bro. Never know, like, in that situation, I probably should put a lock on the TC. You know, so he can't build there, but it's a bit of a dick move. I'll leave him. We can coexist, you know. Would it be too ratty of me to wait for that guy to go back to his base after recycling? Is that too ratty? Ooh, I mean, anything goes as a solo. And he's, he's a duo, at least. So... I feel like it's fair game.
Damn. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but he's dropping the end bomb like there's no tomorrow, man. Far oh, out, dude. So toxic, man. What the hell? So f oh, dude, so toxic. Fuck that guy. Man, I should have griefed him. I really should have griefed him. Let you do it. And then garage door too. <laughs> it's not pretty. It's not pretty, but it definitely does the job. Cargo's just coming in. I think we're going for that. Yeah, we're going for that. i try and find a boat out here instead. Get there a bit sooner. Man, I wish there were horses in console. Like, the only way to get around is to run. I just wish there was some form of transport. This guy's doing the same thing. Fuck. There's not a single boat, not a single boat, the whole way from harbour to where I died. What the f*** is this game, dude? I'm actually so mad. I'm actually so mad. There was not a single boat that entire way. I'm tilted. I'm actually so tilted. I should have been on cargo, killing the scientists, but instead I was running the coast, looking for an invisible boat. If you couldn't tell, I was tilted. So I went back to the dome grind and decided it was time for a boat base. I guess like I've progressed now to the point where I don't really know what I'm looking for in mill crates. It's really just like scrap to get to tier three. I really think this base maybe needs to be raided. I wouldn't mind seeing someone active in it though, before I make that call. Hello? Who is taking cargo out here? I wonder who's doing, like, whose rib was that? Ah, oh, easy. Easy, dude. So good. <laughs> That's actually perfect. So good. We got a boat base. It's not bad. Another Jackie. 
Ah, that's a shit crate. Oh my god. Ah, my boat base is gone. For sure. Man, is that still a 2C4 raid? I think it is. Bloody forgot to hit record again this morning, but I uh, crafted a tier 3. I think that base will be juiced. man I was certain that this base deep in the snow would be loaded and it was still only a 2c4 raid as their ceiling was still stone so I headed over to oil rig in hope of scoring a free c4 Possible to counter, dude, on console. Ooh, explode. Oh man, we have to raid that so bad. <laughs> I need another C4. You know how, how much explode is for a stone roof? I mean, we could do that. We could learn explosive ammo and then just like do half explo and one c4 after getting lucky and scoring an explosive ammo round or oil rig i crafted some up and headed over to raid the snow starter base okay i think we're good to go man and this base is going to be loaded i just really hope he hasn't like high crawled the ceiling or something Hey, should I just go through doors? This is TC here. One, two. It's only gonna be four doors, man. Fuck okay, it, man. Let's just go through doors. Or at least one door just to see what's there. door. Shit. Okay. I need to go back now. Oh, I should have just gone through the roof. Ugh. Should have trusted my instincts, man. Sure enough, when I got back to base, I realized I didn't have enough sulfur to craft the explosive ammo that I needed. So I had to go out for a farm run. Tell me we don't have enough now. Uh, do I risk it and hope to get a C4? I think we're risking it, man.
didn't get the uh, C4, but I think, we, I think we've got away with the Sulfur, so that's all good. Supply drops are just like barely worth going for. Okay, that's enough. Yeah, that's enough. Alright, let's do it. I really hope he hasn't come back online <laughs> and like patched. Alright, here we go. Thing would be loaded, man. Oh my god, dude. Because of how much loot was in this 2x1 and the fact that they had external tool cupboards, I made a small stash base nearby and absolutely cleaned them out. Got the AK, dude. Is such a good raid. <laughs> That's actually such a good raid, man. I cannot believe how much loot they have. Holy. <laughs> oh my god. Let's have a look at this. <laughs> the raid loot. That TC is actually nuts. That was a three man. There was three sleeping bags in there. It just baffles me, like, it baffles me why you wouldn't at least upgrade your roof sitting on like 400 high qual. I had picked the perfect raid. This three man were offline, but when you're solo, anything goes. And it might teach them a lesson for not at least upgrading their roof. I wasn't going to be able to play on day three of this wipe, and I wanted to cap things off by finding some PvP, which I hadn't really had much of this wipe. And it was the perfect timing, as not long after, there was a care package dropping close by, followed by a large oil rig being activated. What? That's, that's so nearly done too. Rubs, man. I oh, had a four times on the M39 though. <laughs> Let's go. We'll post up in this little like electrical station. Why do you go to that? It's insane.
Oh, let's go, dude. Vitamins and history books Psychology and a different way to live Adding This was one of my best solo wipes to date and it all snowballed from an amazing solo tactic in using the computer station to own the dome monument. I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon for another Rust console adventure. I better start putting miles on me.